Hey guys, just finished watching Gotham Season 4, Episode 7, um, A Dark Night, a Day in the Narrows. Um, th this episode was quite interesting. It was definitely we're dealing with the, the pig. We kind of not, we haven't even saw the pig or anything like that, even him in the costume. Uh, we did see the, the guy in it and stuff like that, and it was interesting seeing that and seeing the guy who plays the pig and, you know, him being, him being actually, um, Actually, the guy in 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 the uh, in the, that they found at the beginning of the episode, and him being in the guy in the in the uh, ambulance that Jim was talking to, I kind of saw that one coming as soon as they saw him. Like, oh, that's probably the pig, you know. Um, so it wasn't really much of a surprise, um, but it didn't really let me down too much because it wasn't a su surprise. I mean, it was still an interesting episode with the with dealing with the you know. Um, the the everyone going in and then coming out and uh you know every, and how things change and now everyone's the GCPD is a little bit more on J, uh, James Corden's side and stuff like that I think that was pretty interesting seeing that um and the, the, the revolution with that and you know not trusting Jim and all of a sudden Jim being right and you know things that are now looking bad for 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 Penguin so that's gonna be interesting to see where that goes with that um and now things are going to change, you know, because before it's just things were just going, were not going anywhere with the whole penguin. Penguin was just on top, on top, on top. Now it seems like they're, they're slowly changing. Penguin's still way on top, but they're slowly coming up GCPD and stuff. I think it's going to be cool to see where things with that go. So that was pretty interesting with that, with the whole James Gordon and Bullock and all that stuff and Oswald Cobb Cobblepot and stuff and the penguin. Um... But the different parts was with like the uh, with like um, Selena Kyle, um, Tabitha, and um, and Barbara and stuff. Um, when Selena was, she went off to her to get these. Uh, she went off to her to go steal some money and stuff from the uh, the biker gang. The biker gang, they say, oh yeah, let's call up for some backup. There are three guys and only two guys show up. It makes no sense. Two guys is not backup. Two guys is two the two guys who are guarding the outside coming in. It's not backup. You know, um, double what you already have is backup. Three guys might maybe consider backup. Four guys would have been backup. You know, five guys, five extra guys plus the three being eight. That's backup. You know, uh, now you're eight people. And that's backup. I mean, not n not not two guys. And they even say. I just took out five, even Barbara even says after, I just took out five guys for you. So, confirming that only two guys is backup. It makes no sense. It was just such a stupid um, scene. I mean, the scene was was, was okay, was cool at the end. There was the, the shot of the, like, the trying to get the Gotham siren tape thing. But other than that, it was, seems like it was just poorly done just to get that one shot of the three of them walking out all cool and gangster and all that stuff and it was just kind of everything else around it was kind of terrible and so it was just kind of stupid that they even had that and a lot of the uh for a lot of the other places with when we saw james bullock J james, james gordon and stuff and they were going through the places you know uh trying to get information from the people in the narrows and all that stuff it looked like the same exact set from where uh leslie Tompkins is doing has her her free uh medical uh you know, clinic and stuff for the for the people who can't afford it and stuff. Where Grundy and and, and the ring is, I uh, looked like the same exact set. So I was like, okay, they're gonna open up one of the doors, and one of the doors is gonna be uh, Leslie Tompkins or something like that, and he's gonna be um, and James Gordon's gonna open that door, and then it wasn't. So it's was just very weird that they reuse the exact same set for the exact same thing. I know they do that all the time on, on shows and stuff, but it just for me it looked exactly the same. It didn't look like they didn't even dress it up to make it look different or put a filter on it differently or something like that. It just looked like the same exact set. So I don't know. I just wish that they would have made a more bigger distinction to make it not look like the same thing and stuff. So um, another disappointment was not seeing anything with Poison Ivy. I'm kind of getting frustrated as to why we're not seeing anything with Boys and Ivy. But one thing is I did find out is looking at online is that we've, we're getting another casting for Boys and Ivy. Boys and Ivy is going to be recasted a third time. We're going to get a third actress who is playing, um, who's playing uh, Boys and Ivy. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be from what I've seen, it's going to be the girl, the same one who played Golden Glider in um, over on the Flash or uh, Golden Glider, who's um, uh, Captain Cold's sister from the Flash and stuff. So I don't know. I mean, I kind of liked the the second one who we had. She was Maggie, I think it was her name. She was pretty good uh, as Poison Ivy. Um, whether they're recast or not, I mean, it's frustrating that they're doing that again. You know, uh, it makes no sense. Um, I understand it for the first time because it was just 
it was the character needed to go change rapidly needed needed a better change because the character was just ah there's poison ivy cool it was just a reference that's all the character was before um before they changed her and then she was you know she never really did anything but they started i don't know they could have just recap the same actress they didn't have to do it they could have given her power if we kept the same actress but whatever i'm still pissed off though that they're just kind of you still not show us who cares if you're changing actor who cares or whatever it doesn't matter just show us don't wait so many episodes i mean was it episode one or something like that or episode seven we still haven't seen anything i mean we're uh, how many more episodes do we have i mean we have a few more weeks until i mean we're november so four weeks and five weeks and then you know, it would be the Christmas break. I mean, I don't know when when our last episode is in uh, in December. You know, let's see if I can check this out. Calendar. Yeah, let's see when our last episode is before the winter break. Uh, let's see if it'll show. Actually, we'll go here. All episodes. IMDb. Uh, yeah, so we get another episode. November, November next week. November 1st. November 9th. Then another episode, ninth, and then the tenth. There's no picture, no description. So the tenth, the ninth is probably our uh, our mid-season finale um, for that. So I, I, oh, I, I don't know. I'm just disappointed. We still haven't seen anything with Poison Ivy. It's just driving me crazy. I mean, I need to see it. Is they set something cool up like that and then pay it off right away. Don't wait for us. If you didn't want her. If you wanted to you wait, you use that and have that reveal be for the mid-season final or something like that, or be for the return and all that stuff, then keep the, keep the character around, have her drink the potions only at the end, only in the mid-season final, closer to it, instead of wasting the character and not having the character throughout. I mean, it just drives me crazy. Also, another thing, um, a character that they had uh, that, um, that, uh, that the Penguin hired because Zaz wasn't around, head crusher hurt hurt head head hurt or something like that he from what i looked in my batman encyclopedias he's not a character from the comics and that pisses me off too don't use any characters who are not from the comics i mean i mean these shows should never use any should never have to create any single character they should all be characters from the comics there's so much history in the comics especially batman has been around since 1939 1939 so long like there's so much history there you can take anyone you can change a character of where they want just use the same name as someone it just was a waste of a character to create someone uh even if they're just gonna be killed off in one episode uh, you can use a very obscure character name um maybe it is and i didn't i don't know it if it is let me know in the comments but uh yeah i just was disappointed that he wasn't someone from the comics or anything like that so yeah so let me know what you think guys about this episode in the comments below did you like it did you hate it um do you like the idea of casting a th third actress for poison ivy let me know what you think about that and uh i'll see you guys in the next video peace out i'm captain america here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have subscribing sometimes subscribing is the key to victory sometimes it leads to very little and it seems like it's not worth it and you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing how many more of these